What's going on YouTube? Detroit will be here with another video and today we're going to be talking about how Capcom threw Sony under the bus for Ultra Street Fighter 4 for the PlayStation 4. So what's been going on is that uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4 has finally released on the PlayStation 4 as a semi-exclusive for new gen consoles. and. And with this, it has a ton of bugs, glitches, problems, lag displays, all types of issues have been plaguing this game and it's been reported everywhere. And this happened from day one. Everyone has been complaining. They're even saying that they're, you can see the outline of characters and, and the, the, the display lag is so bad on the console, you can't even really play the game. It's just that bad. Now, I've heard from some people it's not so bad and that it's still playable and you can have fun there, there's no problem with that if you're having friendly matches but Capcom has come out made a statement basically saying they are sorry for what happened and but but what what they were saying is basically they threw Sony under the bus they said they left it up to Sony entertainment to make the game or to port it over and basically what happened was they contracted it out to a third party and this third party did not do the job correctly so what ended up happening is was, was all of these bugs and glitches and problems and what Capcom is saying is that they had originally promised um, the, the Sony that they would let um, people play you know Ultra Street Fighter 4 on um, on on PlayStation 4 at the Evo events so what ended up happening with this is that because of the problems they said they will not do it and they will now make all of those tournaments on the Xbox 360 and this is weird to me just because the fact that the game is also on PlayStation 3 and you could have easily given it back to PlayStation and put it on PlayStation um, but they decided to go with the Xbox 360 now I feel like this is a small slap in the face to Sony for what happened because they're basically saying you we gave you the game to port over and we gave it to you exclusively at that and you still fuck it up it's a game from last year and you're making us look really bad you know Capcom can't take any more hits uh, right now as as Sony it just basically just bitch slapped them on the, all over the place on this on this uh, game, but they yeah they basically were pissed off and now they're gonna have all the evil events on um, the Xbox platform and I'm just wondering like. What, how did this happen? How did Sony mess this up? It should have been easy. This game should have been running very smooth on the PlayStation 4. Um, the game, the console is, you know, new hardware. And this game came out like, like six years ago. <laughs> Damn near six years ago. <laughs> But, you know what I mean? Like, it shouldn't have been this hard. It shouldn't have come down to this. And I kind of feel bad for Sony because this was a big mistake. And a lot of publishers or companies are going to see this. And they're going to be like, wow. So you can't even, you know, take a simple task like porting a game over to a new console. Um, and we can't even trust you with that. How can we trust you with a lot of things? You know what I mean? But that's all I'm, I, I wanted to talk about, man. It, this is not a diss video to Sony or PlayStation 4 or anything. It's just, I thought this was a funny event that happened, and I feel like it was uh, just something that we could talk about and discuss. So what do you guys think? Um, should Capcom have still gave uh, PlayStation at least the rights at the Evo events, or do you think it was a smart move to go back to the Xbox 360? Um, you guys let me know if Capcom would probably trust these guys again. <laughs> <laughs> they probably won't, but yeah. Well, that's all I got for y'all today. Keep killing the game. Peace.